Hello friends, I am Shivaji Bhaskar, Faculty of Russian at the School of Foreign Languages, IGNO. I welcome you all to this course, Basics of Russian Communication Skills, Part 1. As you are aware that in this course, we have discussed about the basics of Russian. We have discussed about the Russian alphabet. We have discussed about the various combination of vowels and consonants. We have discussed about the words, word combinations and expressions. We have also discussed about the greetings, verbs and verbs of motion. Now, if you remember in the previous module, we have discussed about the usage of case system in Russian as case system is a very important part of the Russian grammar because it is the case system with the help of which we make sentences which gives meanings to our communication. So as you know that we have six cases in Russian from nominative, accusative, dative, then we have the genitive case and the instrumental case. So these six cases, the nominative case, the prepositional case, accusative case, dative case, as well as the genitive case and the instrumental case, they always have their set of questions. The set of questions which we have are as simple as Sto eta and Kto eta in Imini Chilni Padiesh, whereas Gijie and Kuda we use in the prepositional case and Glagoli Dijenia, whereas we use Kavo Chivo in the accusative case, Kamu we use in the dative case and we use of expression in the genitive case where we use to ask the question or possession. Then we have the instrumental case where we have questions, schemes, jam and etc. where we actually indicate towards an instrument for fulfilling a certain process. So now we are going to discuss these questions like Gijia where we have the prepositions like va and na. Likewise, you have also seen in certain cases where we have specific cases in which we have these kind of questions like kavo chivo, kamu chimu, skolka, mnoga, mala, as well as kems chim. So these kind of general questions are of importance in Russian. Now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the important aspects where we will see that how in the prepositional case we use the predlok or the preposition va and na. Because in order to understand it well we need to understand when and how to use the prepositions like va and na and these examples you can learn by heart and use them in your own expressions. So the prepositions were can be used as Sikhpikar Burgia, Khaidrabade, Gorge, Centre, Klube, Vinivarsi Cheche, and Vinci Tute. Na you can use Nastaji One, Na Vechere, Na Zavode, Na Fabrike, Na Pochte, Na Stalie, Na Kankurse, and Na Examine. Now let's learn the meaning of these. St. Petersburg. It means in St. Petersburg. Hyderabad in Hyderabad. Goreje in the city. Centre in the center. Club the club. University Cheche in the university. And Institute in the institute. You can also use certain verbs which we have already discussed in the previous modules that each and every case has a number of verbs which are largely used in that case like in prepositional case you see that we use the verb like rich rich gijia saint peter burge hyderabad gorje centre gorada klube university cheche and rabotach Gije on rabote, on rabote, we see two the university cheche, club, of centre, Gorejev, Hyderabad, Peterburg, etc. 
so these kind of questions you can very well use in the construction of sentences in the prepositional case while using verb and now pay attention to the usage of na in the prepositional case as we already know na staji hone na vechere na zaboje na fabrike na pochte na stalie na kan kurse na examine how do we use them na means on or at na staji hone at the stadium na vechere at the party na zaboje at the plant na fabric at the factory na pochte at the post office so for na pochte we can use at the post office if the question is na pochte gdje rabotaye vaš drug moj drug rabotaye na pochte na fabrike na zaboje so accordingly you have to use this construction usage of the preposition na okay now let's go ahead and pay attention to the rest of the words so the preposition wa like mus ye ti atre mogas jiene so these kind of questions you can also frame while using these nouns like mus ye ti atre and magazine it changes into muzie chiatre magazine for example gije budget program where we will be have the program muzie chiatre gije mojna kupi chetat wish where we can find this thing or gije mojna kupi ch rubashku magazine where we can buy the shirt in the in the shop likewise we have nasine na concierge na stule gdje ležit moj portfel vaš portfel ležit na stole na stule and etc gdje visit karchina where the painting is hung nasine on the wall so na concierge at the concert gdje možna slušat muziku muzika muziku možna slušat koncerte na koncerte at the concert so these kind of question we can frame and answers can be used while using the prepositions na i hope the concept of wa and na is absolutely clear to you now let's pay attention to some of the questions and answers with which help of we can understand the usage of gije For example for masculine singular nouns answering the question gije how do we do that we can use gije živjot vaš drug so drug is a masculine gender noun moj drug živjot v londonu london changes into flondonu v amerike v franci why franci patamo sta why because france a masculine gender no it's a female gender noun that is why franci ends with ya changes into franci if it is a v america changes into america so likewise you have to keep remembering the facts and fundamentals of the russian grammar in case of these case system then you have question gije rabota tivo achets yevo achets rabota na zavode So here we are using the preposition na for na zavode at the factory. Where does his father work? His father works at the factory or at the plant. You can change like that. Then gije na khojet sa muzie. Where is the museum located or situated? Muzie na khojet sa centre. The museum is situated at the center. So the most important thing here is that. for towns countries normally the preposition wa is used so this is a very important information that whenever you have any town or you have any country san petersburg london all right so normally we use wa but in case of certain important nouns like na stadione na zavode na fabrike we have a specific place of the prudlov or the preposition as na 
while using these particular nouns so you have to be very careful about the usage of these nouns which are used only with na and not with ba another important aspect here is that or in these all sentences we have used verbs like reach rabotach and nakhojitsa so reach rabot rabotach and nakhojitsa we have there certain aspect of usage of gije gije jibyot gije rabotat gije nakhojitsa so these verbs are basically used in the prepositional case so one thing is again clear to you that these verbs are largely used in the pradloshni padyash okay now let's go ahead let's see in this case we will see the usage of a singular noun for example in nominative the university is university chet but in the prepositional it changes into university che che gije uchit savash brat where does your brother study moi brat uchit sa university che che my brother studies in the university sto eta eta university che gije university che che so this is the basic difference how the ending of the noun of the masculine gender in prepositional case changes into ye at the end so university che remains university che plus ye so ye is added at the end of the masculine noun so this is clear so whichever word of the masculine gender which has the hard ending is changes into ye so we plus ye at the end of that noun so this fundamental is clear now let's go to the next word in this list you can see many words in the nominative form as well as in the form of the prepositional case while using va and na so we have certain words like gorad institute magazine center stat bazaar zavod stol stool etc so if you look at these words these words are very normal words which we already learned about and know the meaning but another important thing is that depending upon their gender depending upon their ending in the preposition they also change how now let's see gorad masculine singular changes into goraj institute again masculine singular institute magazine magazine center centre stat state bazar baz na bazare so in this particular case if you see that bazar which means market or bazar changes into na bazare at the bazar at the bazar zavod na zavode na zavode means at the factory or at the plant stol na stalye stul na stulye so these are very specific usage of such words which we use in russian where we are already sure there is a fact there is a fundamental thing that we can only use these words either with va or na they cannot be changed as and when we require no the most important thing is to remember this that if it is a town or a place or if it is a name of a country we always use va if we have zavod bazar stol stul fabrika so these are used with na so this is absolutely clear now let's go to the next list of the words we have stul urok zapad vastok sever yu so another thing is very clear that if you have urok zapad vastok sever and yu so these four are directions north south east west like this so we have zapad means west vastok means east sever means north and you means south so you can also 
use this direction with the pradlog or the preposition na only na na yuga zapada na yuga zapada na vastok zapada na sever yuga these kind of expressions you can also make but make sure that you use only na with them whereas tool and stole na as well as uro can also be used with na na uro okay na uro okay so now everything is clear in this list of words now we will go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the masculine gender which ends with soft sign as we have seen that with the ending of the soft sign there are certain words which are of feminine gender as well so in order to understand this aspect we have to learn these words by heart that which are the words which are of masculine gender so in this case let's see the first one is part fail brief case part fail changes into gijia slavar changes into slavar ye spectacle changes into na spectacle so there is a difference that we have to be very careful if it is slavar or dictionary slavar ye in the dictionary part fail brief case in the brief case part fail spectacle spectacle changes into na spectacle so at the play or a spectacle like this na now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the masculine gender which ends with e kratki so we already have a list of words such as muzie tramvai and cry so muzie changes into muzie ye so e kratki changes and replaced by ye tramvai also replaced by ye at the end so in place of e kratki it changes with ye and in case of cry it is also replaced by ye ye so muzie changes into muzie tramvai changes into tramvai cry changes into cry so there is a difference between the usage of such kind of words the ending changes however the usage of these three words we always use the preposition wa now let's go ahead and pay attention to the next list here you can see for masculine singular nouns with ending in e kratki so what kind of word do we have we have sanatori sanatori changes into sanatori so e e kratki replaced by e and e sanatori so we have the pradlog v and sanatori remains sanatori however the ending changes from e kratki to e sanatori sanatori in the sanatori so now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the feminine gender now we will see that how the ending of these words are changed when we pose the question gijia so gijia vaza vaza na aknie na aknie so in this case you can see that neuter gender words we are going to talk about so aknu changes it to aknie but the pradlog which we have is na likewise pismo pismie and more na more and opshe jiche vapshe jiche so for more for c we have na for pismo or the letter we have v for aknu we have na so aknu and more na pismo is v as well as opshe jiche is v so now quickly read the sentences here gije photographia photographia pismie gije ani ad dikhayt letam ani ad dikhayt na more gije jivot vash druk moy druk jivot vapshe jiche so here you can see the difference especially when we have the words of neuter gender now we will discuss about some of the words of the feminine gender and see the difference so now let's pay attention to some of the words of the neuter gender and see when usage of pradlog or preposition what kind of change do we see in them slova means word slovia slovia in the word pismo letter pismie in the letter kresla means armchair kresle in the armchair akno window na aknie na aknie on the window so it is absolutely clear when and where to use the preposition wa and na now let's go ahead and pay attention to 
a few more such words of the neuter gender cafe so words which ends with the cafe in the cafe pole field na pole on the field more means see na more so at the sea or on the sea now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of neuter gender like obsessive vapshe jichi kije on jibyot vapshe jichi hostel where does he live he lives in the hostel zdanie building zdani gije jibut vashi raji cheli mai raji cheli jibut babal shom zdani so my parents live in the big building zdanie and then we have the last word is zadanie means task so zdanie and zadanie zadanie means task zadani in the task at the task or in the task you can also differentiate like that now let's go ahead and say these words of the neuter gender like palto palto taxi taxi so this is the basic difference how do we place the preposition in different kind of words of the neuter gender now let's go ahead and pay attention to important aspect that for means of transport like taxi poes avtobus etc preposition na is used so gije gije avi na taxi i am in the taxi i am in the train i am on the train i am in the plane i am at the i am on the bus so these kind of preposition are used to describe certain means of transport like taxi poes and avtobus so these kind of means of transport like taxi poes avtobus preposition na is used na taxi v indicates in whereas na indicates by so please pay attention to the sentence in order to understand it properly mui yes jili f moscow na poezje we went to moscow by train so na poezje means by train by means of and poezje mi dolga razga vari wali we had a long conversation inside the train so in the train we used the preposition was so this is the basic difference how do we use na and what does it mean and were and how does it you know gives an expressions to the sentence so i hope this is clear to you all now we will go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the feminine gender singular nouns and when they are used in the preposition kind what kind of difference do we see so we have nouns like palnitsa fabrika pochta komnata moskva amerika Shkola, Jirevnia, and Stachia. Balnitsa means hospital. Changes into Balnitse in the hospital. Fabrika, as we know, like Zavod, Stadion, it is also in Na. Na Fabrike, factory at the factory. Pochta, we know, means post office. Na Pochte, at the post office. Komnata, we already know, means room. Komnate. in the room moskva moscow moskve in moscow because it is a name of a place town country we always use v america v america school of school drevnya drevnya in statia statie so ya yeah is replaced by ye i hope this is clear to you all now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the feminine gender in sto and in gije format so we have auditoria photographia historia lectia conferencia india russia finlandia dania eponia so let's see what is the difference in auditoria ends with ya changes into auditori so ya is replaced by e as we have discussed it so auditorium changes into into the auditorium in auditorium photographia means photograph changes into photography in photograph historia changes into history history changes into in history lectia changes into na lectia lecture changes into 
एट दी लेक्चर डीजे वॉच द्रुक सिचर्स मोई द्रुक सिचर्स ना लेक सी वेयर इज योर फ्रेंड राइट नाउ माय फ्रेंड इज एट दी लेक्चर राइट नाउ कॉन्फ्रेंसिया मींस कॉन्फ्रेंस ना कॉन्फ्रेंसी गिजे डेलीगेशन वेयर इज द डेलीगेशन डेलीगेशन सिचर्स ना कॉन्फ्रेंसी द डेलीगेशन इज एट द कॉन्फ्रेंस राइट नाउ इंडिया गिजे जुबूत नोगा लुजी नो गलजी जूद विंजी वे डज मैनी पीपल लिव मैनी पीपल लिव इन इंडिया रसिया रसिया ओचिन बार शायस्त्र रसी जूद नो गलुजिए रशिया इज अ वेरी बिग कंट्री इन रशिया देर आर मैनी पीपल लिव फिन लांजिया फिन लांजी नेम ऑफ अ कंट्री दानिया ऑफ दानी अगेन नेम ऑफ अ कंट्री एंड यपोनी ऑफ यपोनी So the same is the case with Russia, India, Finland, Yia, Dania, and Eponia. We know it already. So now we will go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the feminine gender which ends with soft sign. Earlier we have seen some of the words which ends with soft sign, but they belong to the masculine gender. In this case, we are going to have this. Like in the previous case, masculine gender words which ends with soft sign like perth fail, perth fail. However, in this case, if it is a noun of a feminine gender with the help of any prudlog or preposition, the soft sign will go away and replace with e in place of ye, as in case of masculine gender we have seen. So chitraj, chitraji, ploshaj, na ploshaji. So I hope this concept is also clear to you all. Now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the words of the masculine gender which are exceptional. So how do they change with prepositions? Less, please su, sad, sadu, scarf, scarfu, ug, buglu, pol, na palu, bere, na bere gu, most, na mustu. so this is a list of exceptional words which change like this when used with prepositions for example les means forest lisu sad means garden sadu and many more such words which you can see here are changing but they are called the exceptions in russian so please remember all these we will be discussing about such words and other expressions in dedicated sessions we will take up more case system and many other concepts so in this module we have seen how do we use certain nouns of the masculine feminine and neuter gender and how do they change in case of usage of the preposition in the preposition case when we frame the question of gje as you already no the usage of different six type of cases in the case system of russian we will be discussing about them in detail in the next module i hope you all enjoyed this module thank you